we're going to test them to their limits mentally and physically. And just overall, they're, they're going to be a better corpsman when they leave here. Hey, Oh, Jungle is just super hot, humid, gross, sweaty. A lot of heavy lifting around everywhere you go, so make sure you're ready for that. This is really difficult terrain, and you have to know how to deal with the jungle, or it, it will bite you back. You're learning different techniques, like uh, how to sustain yourself and how to sustain the patient um, as you battle the jungle, really. You know, you might feel like, oh, well, this sucks, you know, I don't like this, but it still has a purpose. You know, just taking a step back and kind of realizing that kind of helps. All right. You guys done there, you guys are going to have to shoulder him, okay? Ooh, it's good. It's real. It's tough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, training is definitely hard. Uh, we've all done it, and we all kind of sat down and said, yeah, this is going to be really, really hard but it's there for a reason. We're uh, starting out with uh, basic infantry skills uh, that would correlate with uh, medical skills. And then adding all that together through an exercise where we have mass casualties, prolonged field care, up to 72 hours at some points. It really is go, 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 and it's stressful, and we are at that point testing them. As Corman, we're going to go where the Marines go whether that's the jungle or the desert, we're gonna be there with them. So just because uh, we're not in the infantry or Marines, we still need to learn how to track. We still need to land nav because we might be that person that needs to do it. They can look to you and know that you've been through this before and know that you know if I need you to get on the comms or get on the weapon or repel, that you're gonna be capable of doing that. And I don't have to do, you know, do a, you know, a hip pocket training, if you will, right here in the spot while we're under fire. Uh, you really need to be careful about what moves you take, uh, what you use, uh, what you do. Every every movement counts. Stay late, lean back into that seat too. Step down. Lock him out. There's some really dangerous points where you can really get hurt, but at the same time, it was honestly worth it because it puts everything into perspective for me. Just uh, getting a patient out of the jungle is extremely difficult. It all plays back into you know your medical training at the end of the day because everybody can regurgitate what's on a test. We want to see, can they take what we've taught them, apply it to the situation without prompting? That's the ultimate goal. We really took a step back and said that the jungle has to be the emphasis. Once we found that really adapting to our surrounding just the most that we possibly could, we really started to understand what jungle medicine actually is. For the last 20 years, our focus has been uh, primarily on desert warfare. So that's you know, where everything has shifted over the last you know, two decades. Uh, so now is the great time to start building up our uh, foundation for that new set of corporate knowledge to take everything in the history and you know, incorporate that into our, you know, our modern medicine, our modern techniques and equipment uh, to kind of you know, find that mesh between the two and you know, see where that takes us you know, in the next 20 years. So with the future of the military and the future of medicine in general, we need to remember that it's not always going to be a desert. Even in countries that have deserts, there are also areas of subtropical rainforests. So we can't just focus on a, a two hours we're gonna have a medevac. We may have to sit on a patient for a day or two, maybe three. And so it's very vital, especially in an atmosphere like this and the terrain, you just never know what, when and where you can get something.